Samsung devices may encounter Bluetooth problems from time to time and fortunately, most of these issues have an easy fix. In this video, we'll show you the potential solutions that you can try if your Samsung phone or tablet seems to be having an issue pairing or connecting to another Bluetooth-enabled device. Solutions to Bluetooth problems for your Samsung device Bluetooth problems can be caused by a number of factors on your Samsung device. Here's how to fix it. First, toggle Bluetooth function on and off. When facing any Bluetooth connection problem, the very first thing that you want to do is to ensure that you turn on Bluetooth in your device. Some people may forget to simply enable Bluetooth that's why a second device can't seem to connect. If you've positively checked that Bluetooth has been running all along, you'll want to simply turn it off and back on after a few seconds. Sometimes, this simple trick is enough to establish a connection, especially after a new software update. Next, identify how your devices connect via Bluetooth. There can be a number of ways to connect devices via Bluetooth. Some devices may require entering a code in your device while others may need that you touch your phone physically to the second device. Although enabling Bluetooth connection in most Samsung devices is almost universal or the same, other third-party devices may not be so. Some may require that you press and hold a button to pair to another Bluetooth device. Next, check for compatibility. This one goes with suggestion number two. What you must do is to ensure that both devices are compatible in terms of Bluetooth connectivity. As far as Samsung Samsung Galaxy devices are concerned, all of them are usually capable of connecting to most Bluetooth devices, even those that use older Bluetooth versions. Since Bluetooth connection or pairing is almost always straightforward, incompatibility factor may be to blame if you are having an issue connecting another device to your Samsung device no matter what you do. Next, fix Bluetooth issue by restarting your Samsung device. Another simple solution that you can try when you encounter a Bluetooth problem is to restart your Samsung phone or tablet. All Samsung devices are designed to be force rebooted if the power button is pressed and held for about 30 seconds. Some models may only require about 12 seconds to be restarted. Force reboot is a recommended troubleshooting step if the device is unable to restart normally or if it keeps freezing. Next, clear Bluetooth app cache and data. Like any other Android apps, your Samsung's Bluetooth app can misbehave due to a corrupted app cache or data. We suggest that you troubleshoot the Bluetooth app by erasing the Bluetooth app's cache first. If that won't change anything, then you can go ahead and clear its Bluetooth app's data. Next, refresh network settings. Some Bluetooth pairing or connection issues are caused by incorrect network setup. To ensure that your Samsung device is running well, you can refresh its network settings. Then, refresh the cache partition. At times, apps or some Android functionalities like Bluetooth may misbehave due to one thing, corrupted system cache. This is a special cache in a Samsung device that's kept in a certain portion or partition of the internal storage. Sometimes, this cache may become corrupted after a software update or app installation, causing other apps or the operating system to stop working normally. Next, reset app preferences. If your Bluetooth device is still unable to connect to your Samsung device at this point, the next good thing to do is to see to it that you do app preferences reset. Lastly, wipe your Samsung device to fix Bluetooth problems factory reset. Should none of the solutions in this video help, you need to do a factory reset. This is going to erase all personal data from the device and return all software settings to default. While not exactly an easy fix, the software state of your phone or tablet would be like brand new, which can free it from any bugs that may be the reason for the Samsung Bluetooth problems you're having. Be sure to create a backup of your data before doing a factory reset. That's it. We hope this video is helpful to you. Please subscribe and click the notification bell to know our latest videos in the future.